What's up, BeatStars family? It's Jamil. Welcome to part two of the Pro Page customization video. If you haven't checked out part one yet, go check that out first and come back to this video after. Today, we'll be going over every other customization feature we didn't get a chance to go over in part one. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on any new uploads from us. The first section I want to talk about is the layout colors section. This is where you can change the background and text colors of all the different sections you choose to have on your homepage. When we change one of the colors on here, it'll change the color on the corresponding section it's attached to. This includes important sections like the main page background color and the track list background, which are two of the first things visitors will see when they first enter your page. The next customization options are your primary and secondary button colors. Some buttons on your pro page are primary buttons and some are secondary. To clearly see which ones fall under which category, we can go ahead and change the background of the primary buttons. Now you'll see which buttons immediately changed. These are your primary buttons. All the rest will be secondary. The next section is menu links. Menu links are these menu options at the top that lead to other pages of your pro page. You'll be able to include or hide sections you don't want to appear and even change the order of them. We recommend organizing it in whatever way best suits your online store and even coming back here and making adjustments depending on whatever products you're trying to promote. Next up is your homepage background. For your homepage background, you can upload a photo or video to play when people are checking out your site on desktop. And there's a separate section right underneath it to upload another photo for mobile. Make sure you check out the dimensions for each of these so your image fits the background nicely. Because this section is so big and will be one of the biggest eye catchers of your pro page, we recommend a high quality image that's really aesthetically pleasing and goes perfectly with your brand. This can be something including your logo or your signature brand colors. Just make sure you're really happy with it because this is what people are going to be associating with your store and you as a business. Next, we got homepage main text and buttons. Here you can choose whether to include shortcut links, a search bar, or leave both out. If you have a lot of beats in your store, the search bar will probably be your best option so people can easily search your catalog with keywords. You can also change the text that appears in your search bar here. Next is homepage sections. For your homepage sections, you're able to select which of these sections you want to appear on your homepage. If you toggle them on and you have content in these sections, they'll appear here. If you'd rather save these sections for their individual pages, you can toggle them off as well. Just like the menu links we went over earlier, make sure you include or organize them in a way where you're pushing the content you want your customers to see to the top of your page. Did you just release a new sound kit or maybe some new merch? Move it to the top of the list to draw your customers in. Here you can select the color of your audio visualizer for tracks being streamed on your page and change the progress color. Right underneath that, you can select your background color for your license, membership, and YouTube sections. Here, you can select some text to appear in your footer or upload an image, as well as leave a footnote. Last but not least, you can edit the fonts on your page. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos from the 2020 Pro Page course.